What's up YouTube? I'm Moana Turtle. So today we have a PSA showcase episode. We featuring the three legendary beasts. And so we have three PSA cards. We're also going to do a quick opening. We have five packs of unbroken bonds. Uh, but first, before we get into the PSA cards, we have to settle whether the legendary beasts are cats or dogs. Uh, so I did do some quick research and Bulbapedia did not confirm one way or another. So I think the official answer is they never really said uh, however I did do some uh, googling and found a reddit post that mentions that they asked the designer on Twitter and this is what they said so let's just quickly go to those tweets uh, so we do have like the translations and so Ken Sugimori I believe is also a designer and then Muneo Saito I believe she is the designer of the legendary beasts so all right so let's see are they based on cats or dogs asked Ken Sugimori and Muneo uh, Munio Saito, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it, uh, kind of talks about her uh, process for designing it. And let's see where it comes down to is that uh, uh, one of them is like a tiger like design and leopard for Raiko and Sukun. Um, and uh, so, like, yeah, that's kind of not exactly conclusive, but to me, uh, if we had to leave one right now, I would say that they are legendary. Cats, <laughs> but we'll stick to beasts for now, just to uh, to not uh, be too controversial. So let's get into uh, the pack opening. We have just five packs of unbroken bonds, and then we're going to go through these PSA cards featuring the legendary beasts as well. And as we begin this opening, as always, guys, if you do enjoy the content, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And uh, if you're not already a sub to the I Want a Turtle channel, definitely hit that sub button as well on your way out. For our first pack, we have a Darkness Energy, a Crocorock, Graveler, Hitmontop, Poliwag, Ekans, Drowsy, a Pikachu on the boat, a Grubbin, Rattata for the reverse, and then just a regular rare Raichu. Alright. So we are in full swing in summer and uh, oh god my apartment is super hot and while wow, I do have the AC set up behind me, the uh, it's quite noisy so when I record I actually turn it off so as a result I just turned it off and it's only been like a couple minutes but like I already feel it and I feel like I'm about to break sweat so if I'm, if it feels like I'm rushing that might be why. Alright we have a triple acceleration energy, very nice car, Tentacruel, Stealthy Hood, Slowpoke, a Litten, Sandshrew, Murkrow, Oddish, Weeping Bell for the reverse, and then a Aromatist for the regular rare. Alright, at this point, let's go into our first Legendary Beast PSA card. We have a Entei, and it is a Gold Star Entei. So they uh, released Legendary Beast in gold star form in ex unseen forces and this is a psa 9 uh, so we don't have the perfect 10 but i'm really happy to have the 9 as part of my collection and actually we'll talk about the moves as we get further into the video uh, there is a very distinct pattern all right moving on to the next pack we only have five packs so we don't have a lot of ammo and hoping we don't get completely shut out for this opening all right we have a fairy energy a War Turtle, Cleffa, Porygon 2, Tangela, Oddish, Wooper, Connie, a Venonat, our reverse is a Doe Duo, it's always an interesting Pokemon, and then the picture, uh, cartoony Wigglytuff. Alright, let's go on to the one on the right. For our next one, we have Boom! Gold Star Suicune. I'm guessing that's how you say that. And once again, it is from Unseen Forces, EX Unseen Forces, and another Mint 9. Uh, these legendary beasts. Yes, yeah, just such a cool um, part of my collection. All right, let's keep going. And uh, you can probably guess what the last one is, but we're going to get these last two packs opened before we take a look. All right, so... For the uh, eternal battle between cats versus dogs, and whether or not the legendary beasts are which or which of the which of those is are the legendary beasts, um, I feel like the evidence kind of leans towards cats. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, another regular rare. However, I am a big fan of this art for the Polyrath. All right, let's get into our last pack. 
Come on, let's get at least one good pull. Last pack magic. Cue it up. Here we go. We have a fairy energy. Chat it. A Mullane. Frogadier. Porygon. Inke. Caterpie. Clefairy. Poliwag. Jigglypuff for the reverse, and then, ooh, okay, a good card, but just another regular rare. Uh, so we did come up completely blank, but this card is just really cool. Uh, essentially, uh, add a damage counter to each of your Pokemon in between turns, and inspire and such. 20 damage to each of your Poke bench Pokemon that has any kind of damage on it. So these two things in combination, just the damage just racks up. And as long as you can just stall your opponent, eventually they'll just kind of all be knocked out. All right, for our last PSA card, you could probably guess what it is. It is, of course, the Raikou for the last legendary beast. And this one is, boom, PSA 10 from Unseen Forces. So I was really happy to pick up at least one 10, one gem mint 10 for the legendary beasts. So one funny thing is that I'm not, not going to say it applies to all gold stars, but at least the legendary beasts. They're all terrible. <laughs> For a gold star, which is quite rare, uh, they all have 80 HP. And even back in 2005, I feel like this was still super weak. For whatever their energy plus a colorless, they all have the same attack. Burning turn, lightning turn, and splashing turn. Essentially does 20 damage and then switch it for your one of your bench. It's super weak for two energy. And then the uh, detonation, mega voltage, and cross wind for three of their respective energy type. Uh, each does 70, and then if you have less prize cards, um, you actually have a negative effect where this one is the worst. Um, discard all energy cards attached to all your Pokemon just for 70 damage, that is terrible. Detonation, uh, discard the top 10 cards from your deck if you have less prize cards left, and uh, or actually, I guess this means if you're ahead. So if you're ahead, it kind of hurts you. It's super strange. And then Mega Voltage for, again, only 70 damage. Attack does 40 damage to each of your Pokemon. <laughs> that is absolutely terrible. Why are these cards so weak? And uh, again, that was, I uh, yes, that was uh, like um, almost decade and a half ago but still those are that's just way i imagine that's even weak for that time period as well so there you guys have it a very cool psa showcase to show off and oh very weak opening not too happy about that but i do hope you enjoyed the content and as always like comment subscribe all down below thanks for watching thanks for all the support i'm a turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace